Much better. Lighting wise. Much better. Yeah. So going on to um, a lovely evening and uh, continuing talking about a magic of Ireland and um, the stories that we brought from there. Most of which really happened because we had no plans and no agenda and um, just wanted to share how it all unfolded because it, it's really hard to believe, you know, when you're just remembering, it's like, really did that happen? But, you know, having someone to sit right, sit right here no. and say, yeah, it did happen. Yeah. So day two, day two, we did make make it to those waterfalls. And it's truly really the, the most beautiful and majestic waterfall that I've ever seen. I don't know about you, John. No, it was nice. That was a nice time. It was. Thank you. That was really nice. It yeah. was just a majestic place. And we, of course, got a little extra, not only the waterfalls, but our other driver um, <laughs> took us to a vista um, like 20 minutes above waterfalls that not known that widely. And uh, oh my God, you could see, I don't know, thousands of miles yeah. Yeah, that was, ar yeah. around you. It's something like from the Lord of the Rings kind of stuff. So, so we came back and we thought, well, that was good. You know, the day might be over. So we decided to go and eat and uh, really like five doors away there was that pub and that night they had a live music and um we got a table um it was nice irish music yeah and um we had a good, good meal and then of course john was sitting right how you were sitting there and on your left um there were three incredible women yeah and and uh, number one we found out real quick in ireland that uh, life happens in the pub <laughs> if you want to find out something you go to the pub and all sorts of activities happen in the pub and so we're sitting that evening and the band is uh, playing and we're just enjoying ourselves and next to us are these three women and um i s just simply said hello and we found out i found out um that it was the youngest there they were three sisters and the youngest was 70 years old and they were celebrating her birthday in the pub mm -hmm. and uh i found that to be just incredibly um intriguing that that's where they chose but that's what you do and as we're as we're sitting there uh, marina uh leans over and uh she simply says uh i'll be right back <laughs> and she leaves and i'm not quite too sure where she went but it doesn't matter and she comes back and sits down and you you go you tell them what happened so before i went to ireland because the idea was very spontaneous and um yeah. i didn't know what to expect um i took a few items with me and i yeah and i didn't have any plans for them but something told me that that might be someone to give to someone all those items were not something that I bought. In fact, all of them were presents that I received before, and they were significant to me. And one of the most significant um, item that I brought was a hummingbird made with beads. And in yeah. incredible job. I mean, you saw yeah, it. I mean, yeah. it, it was just a piece of art. And it was presented to me by one of my students. And... For me, Hummingbird had a history because before I started teaching, literally within two weeks before my beginning, <laughs> there was a um, um, solar eclipse. And I was out on my balcony and uh, 
trying to take pictures of mm -hmm. the solar eclipse, kind of the selfie. And I had a hummingbird photobomb me. So I have pictures with me and the hummingbird literally right yeah. behind me. Yeah. And so somehow it became my symbol, you know, like a teacher apple. Yeah. For me, switching to teaching somehow was, you know, hummingbird, like a messenger. And a um, couple years later, when the student who didn't know about any of it presented me that hummingbird, I was blown away. That's probably why that gift was significant to me. And that's why I felt that it didn't belong to me, you know, yeah. because it came from this, this is again, yeah. like yeah. those meaningful, um, meaningful happenstance, if you will, that you know that it's passing through. You know, you got yeah. a live hummingbird and suddenly, you know, one of your students made, you know, that. so I thought this is definitely something that I, meant to take with me to Ireland and that's what I brought back to that pub and um, you know I didn't have any wrapping or a box it was just yeah. you know in my hands and I um, presented it to a woman to one of the three sisters and I told her the story I told her how that hummingbird found me and uh, what it was symbolic to me and her face was just out of this world. I mean, no, it was. It was. It was the moment. It was of, amazing. Yeah, yeah, like I think everybody who observed that moment, including two sisters and you, you know, we, we all felt that that it meant something to her, especially. I mean, it just meant to be given to her on that night um, and it meant to have that significance and I, I don't know that that was just well and also in the middle of this whole conversation I don't know if it was when you left to get to pick it up but whatever um, one of the sisters asked me well what do you do mm -hmm. and I told her I said well I'm a priest and um, later on, after you gave the hummingbird, they wanted a blessing. And I said, sure, we can do a blessing. So here in the middle of a pub, <laughs> you know, with all of the libations and the people, it got really quiet and the ancient blessing, now may the Lord bless you and keep you. And it was just um, a moment that all came together with the hummingbird and the blessing. And um, the youngest sister was 70 years old that day and it was her birthday. And it was sort of like the whole community gathered as well as something greater. And it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was, and it was just the second day. <laughs> so you never know. <laughs> I mean, it was just, you never know in the moment, you know, how this moment will play out years right. after, like with the fork, right? Yeah. Same idea. And um, so things sometimes come through us to be given forward in the most Unimaginable places and circumstances. Yeah, you think you're going into the pub to get something to eat and to have a drink or something, but there's something greater that says, well, not quite. Yeah. There's something, something more. more. There's, there's something this. more. And then again, it's as we walked away after the evening, it was, oh my God, mm -hmm. oh my God. Yeah. So. I wish I could tell the student who made that hummingbird the, you know, where the hummingbird found its landing. Yeah. I think it would just blow away yeah. <laughs> the student's yeah, mind. Cool. Yeah, if, cool. I, if I get to talk to that student, I will. 
So again, having no agenda, being open, and I guess feeling, I don't know how to explain that feeling of knowing one to take that gift with me. And it's not, by the way, the only gift that I gave in Ireland. There's yeah. another story, also in a pub, but totally different with a totally different, you know, person. And I didn't think about it, but both, it was a gift and a blessing. Well, or in the second case, yeah, confession. Yeah. But but both times it was you and me giving something. It's all in the giving. Mm-hmm. It's all in the giving. I didn't realize we did it twice. I mean, yeah. Yeah. okay, so we'll have to tell you that story about, you know, the confession as well. But yeah, you're right. That was another time that I also gave gift, which was also presented to me by kids, you know, from Calvary's high school. Yeah. I mean, okay. So yeah. that was day two, guys, by the way. So we just, <laughs> we just need to sort of pace ourselves. Um, but yeah, I guess... Um, being attuned to, to, to those very subtle ideas or the movements, like grab that hummingbird or grab that second you know, gift. And right in the moment of when I was sitting and listening to John's conversation with that sister, I just knew. It was, yeah. It's like, no doubt, that was the time to go get that hummingbird and bring it to her. And it was. It was perfect. It was, it yeah, was perfect. it was absolutely flawless and perfect. So... Thanks. Stay, <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. We'll have so that's a day two. So we have roughly about four more days to to tell you. Thank you.